This planet is so beautiful! I can't believe I'm here! <laughs> Maria? Is everything... I'm okay, Shadow. It's just... I'm so grateful to be here, but... I'm a little sad that Grandpa isn't here with us, too. Huh. Don't be sad, too, Shadow. Huh? You're here. That's good enough for me. You matter just as much to me as Grandpa does. Uh. Oh. Sit down for a second. What? Well, uh, okay? Huh. No one asked. I think I've discovered what the ultimate life form is. It might be you. Me? Uh, Shadow, I think you accidentally pointed at a Big the Cat cameo instead of me. Who said I was talking to you? The first thing Silver ever told me must have been the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Are you a star? What? You know a star. You look like one. Huh? Slay! Yep. I'll kill the one that makes your heart beat. You can't kill yourself. What? What? Next in the competition, Shadow! Hey! <laughs> Come on, Shad, give us a smile. I saw your grin from earlier. You can't hide it from me. Yes, I can. Oh, come on, Shadow. I turned us into dragons. It's adorable. I still don't know how you did this. It's only temporary. It's cute. Did you make it yourself? <laughs> what the fuck? He's infinite. He loves me so much. I give him lots of toys, but he only plays with the plush of me. What a cutie. Hey, hon, calm down. You're fine. You got this. Come on, let's blow this joint. All right, let's go. You'll catch a cold. No, I won't get off me. Yes, you will. I'm too ultimate for colds. Just shut up. Here, take the cocoa. It'll help. Hmm. Give me that cookie. Yeah, sure. Open wide. Ah. Grandpa, today's snack is roasted marshmallows. Oh, thank you, Maria. Hmm. I forbid children to use the kitchen alone. <coughs> oh. Uh, wait a second. Maria! Huh? Would you step on him for ten dollars? Fuck yeah, do for free. Where did you all go? I'm going to fucking kill you. Well, Shadow, we both have giant robots now. I guess what's your point? Hey, Tails, do I really need to wear this? It looks a bit too... sleek. Uh, you know, you can say thanks, you don't need to shave all your fur instead. So let me sum it up. You're very powerful, basically immortal, and have a regeneration ability. And you still work for those jerks. I love my job. Otherwise, they will detonate a chip inside his brain. That too, yes. Huh. Need any help? No. Cause this kinda, you know. I already said no, hedgehog. Don't make me repeat myself. Eh, sure. Hmm, but what if? Oh yeah, let me introduce you. This is Tails, my best pal. He pays me, that's all. Name's Miles, by the way. I built a tornado. Impressive work for such a young individual. Yeah, I know. Pays? Three hours, no more. I'd give you only one if I could, scum. Ugh. Incoming call. Accept. Who the hell again? Yes. Shadow. Oh, hey. I heard Omega has docked. Do you two finally have a break? Yeah, they gave us a few hours. Awesome. Will you have a minute to come by? Of course I will. You home? Yes. But wait, I I'm not prepared. Uh, need to get some snacks or something. When will you be coming? Too late. I'm already here. 
if it means. That's not fair, Shadow. I wanted to buy you something tasty. I should win this war. Cheater! Yes, yes, I know, sorry. Want me to jump back? For you to go back to Earth. Then you'll have to- No! I have popcorn. So we can finally watch that movie I wanted to show you. How about that? Works for me. Then I'll do everything I can. To make that day come faster. Alright. I think that's everything. Thank you. No problem. Shadow, are you ready to go? Huh. Huh. What is it? You have something to say? Hmm. Listen. If the Earth is in danger again, let me know. Yeah, will do! Saving the world without you isn't as interesting. We'll visit you guys once in a while. Oh! And whatever happens, I'll race you just like in the old days to make sure that you're staying in shape. But just to let you know, I won't lose. Heh. <laughs> huh. Let's go. Bye, guys! See you soon! Bye, everyone. Take care. Chaos! Oh, my. Uh, huh? I told you, be cute, Shadow. Look at us. Swing batter. Swing batter batter. Yeah, that's what you say. We look like real baseball players now. Name him. Name your son. Bongwater. And so, he has been baptized before the Lord. Bongwater. This game is dumb. No, it's not. You're just doing it wrong. No, I'm not. Your hands are too big for the controls. Give it to me. No. Coffee, my treat. Hmm. All of you praise a war criminal. Aw, oh, that's the nicest thing you've said to me all week. Shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show them how you do it now. They're still as beautiful as I remember. What do you think of them, Shadow? Hmm. Shadow, is there something wrong? It's nothing. Come on, Shadow. There's obviously something on your mind. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Hmm. I had a friend. What was their name? Maria. She always wanted to visit Earth. See what it's like here. Well, I'll bet she'd like it here. We promised each other that we would visit it together someday, but... What happened? Something terrible. I just wish she was here. Enjoying this planet like she wanted. Shadow? She... <laughs> she might not be with you, but... I know she's watching over you. Somewhere in the sky. And she's happy for you. You think so? Of course I do. Alright. I believe you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, hey, Shed. You, uh, you feeling alright, bud? Grandpa, there's a rainbow. Huh? When it rains on Earth, the sun can reflect light off the droplets. That's what makes the rainbow. But they're so much bigger than in the lab. Everyone says the sun is nice down there. Red 19 reporting. We have secured the professor. Roger that. And the specimen. Negative. The stasis tube was empty when we arrived. There are no records of an escape pod being deployed. You heard the man. The ultimate life form is still somewhere on board. Your mission is to find it and bring it in alive. They have grandfather. Maria, we need to go back for him. We can't. They're looking for you, Shadow. Grandfather made me promise that if something happened to him, I was to get us to safety. There's a hidden escape pod on the observation deck. I don't like it either, but that's where we need to go. Fine. Then let's go. Come on. Shh. <coughs> Almost. There. <coughs> Clearly, you're not doing well. I can carry you if need be. Just because I don't have those fancy skates doesn't make me an invalid, Shadow. 
No, but your condition technically does. <laughs> Touché. But I'm fine. We just need to get past this storage room. <laughs> Chaos. There's only one. I can take him out quickly. No, don't! They're only following orders. Terrible orders, granted, but... Still, there has to be another way. Huh. Then what do you suggest? We wait until... <gasps> until... what? Maria, wait. Don't tell me you need to... For chaos sake, hold it in! We can't afford to... Huh? Who's there? Come out with your hands raised! <laughs> the Robotnik girl. We're looking for the ultimate weapon. It's a matter of global security. Relax, Maria. You need to be strong. You need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's just like that time we played hide and seek, Grandfather. Ugh. Strange, he's not in his usual spot. But I know he's here somewhere. He wasn't in the stasis pod, but our intel says he's still on board the Ark. I found you right away, Maria. It's only fair if you'd give me a hint, no? You've already been caught. It's not a matter of if we find it, but when. All right, fine, I give up. So, please would you tell me where he is? Tell me where it is. <laughs> He's... Somewhere you will never find him. I don't want to hurt you, miss. But we need this information. Your grandfather has created a monster. That creature is far too dangerous to leave unchecked. If you come clean, things will be a lot easier for both of us. Come on, think. Maria is stalling. I can't fight, and I'm not leaving Maria behind. I hate all this running. Running. It's risky, but... I told you already, he's... Right here! So, so fast! Aha! I've got you now. Hey, wait, you can't run? That's not how this game is played. Huh. Sounds to me like you're just too slow, Doctor. You shouldn't have made these hover shoes, if you didn't expect me to use them. Blue 23 here, requesting back- Alright. That should buy us some time. Earth. After all this time, we're finally going there. Though I never dreamed it would happen like this. I only wish Grandfather could come with us. There's no time for wishing. Right now we need to go. You're right. As usual. <clears throat> Code Icarus! Huh? Oh. Maria! What are you doing? Relax, Explain Shadow, or I'll- Relax! The pods only hold one person at a time. I'm sending you down first and I'll come next. I've set up the ejection to go through automatically, so once I pull this lever, next stop is Earth! But... then what? Earth isn't a sterile environment. And we don't know where we'll end up. If our pods get separated, I won't be there to make sure you... You... Fate can't keep us apart, Shadow. With your speed, searching the planet will be a piece of cake. We'll find each other, and then find a nice island, somewhere off the radar where, where no one can bother us. And then we'll, we'll have tea parties every day. I know you enjoy them, even when you pretend not to. Maybe I won't last long down there. But I've accepted that. You're gonna make so many wonderful new friends on Earth. And you'll protect them, just like you've protected me. You have so much power, and people may see it as a threat. But you get to choose how you use it. Your strength is an incredible blessing. And I know you're gonna bring so much hope to humanity with it. <laughs> Goodbye, Grandfather. <laughs> This is the last time I ask. Hand over the ultimate weapon. Government scum. I swear if you harm a single hair on her head. It's okay, Shadow. So, our little game of tag is over, huh? Have you come to put me in a timeout? This isn't a game! <laughs> I'm gonna give you till the count of three. To let go of that lever. 
One. Maria, let me out. Two. You said I would protect people, right? Let me protect you. It's too late. I'm sorry. Maria! Uh, the gun jammed? Of all the... Ejection initiated. Commencing in three. Maria? Two. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. One. I... I'm alive. What's going on? Did you capture it? <coughs> ah, no. There was a hidden escape pod. What? Get the commander on the line. Someone needs to start tracking its trajectory immediately. Sorry we took so long. Some of the experimental creatures got loose. Have you ever tried shooting at orbs of living water? <laughs> he got away. And what about this one? <gasps> she let the monster loose on the world. And you just stood there and let that happen, huh, rookie? I should report you for mutiny. I... my gun jammed. <laughs> really? That's some luck. Think it'll hold out a second time. Enough. That's the professor's granddaughter you're talking about. She's of more use to us alive. Let the commander decide what to do with her. For now, let's put her with the other colony brats. Fine. Oh, Shadow. Wherever you end up, please. Bring hope to humanity. Hey there. The name's Sonic the Hedgehog. You might be wondering how I got into this mess. Rouge, take care of the rest. I have a meeting with my brother. I've been trying to reconcile. See ya. Huh? Shadow never mentioned his brother before. Wait, no, he cannot seriously mean. We should probably hang out at your place next time. It's a giant monster! Run for your lives! Hold it right there. Shadow? You again! Ah, Sonic. Good to see you're still alive. Somehow. Silence, Faker! I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, and I am the ultimate life form. No, I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog! I'm Shadow the Hedgehog! So who's the real Shadow? I am! Don't let this fake fool you. He was made by Eggman to mimic my every move. Maria. Damn! Another amnesia attack! Uh, uh, why am I... Uh, hmm. Shadow! Why are we doing this? I thought you said you would never touch a gun. You of all people should know that this is not a gun. <laughs> me, me, me. A shooting star! You gotta make a wish! I... don't have anything I want. I tried to make my password infinite, but it said it was too weak. Shadow is the master of psychological manipulation. Hedgehog, I'm bored. I'm gonna kill you. Wait a minute, Shads! Uh, uh, <laughs> he's in the walls. He's in the gut! Damn walls! Huh? Hey, Faker! Don't be a stranger! Huh? Settling things with our fists is more our style. You got that right! Huh? Maria, are you really sure it's okay to be out here? Yes, Shadow. The hat you bought by teleporting is plenty. I can chaos control you sunscreen if it affects your- No, I'm fine, really. I have decided to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I stole the five Paradox Prism Shards, so I can create a perfect world for me and Sonic to live in. Christ, you are extremely fucking selfish. Die. I am eight years old. So, did the stress-reducing cooking work for you? I guess it is relaxing. Of course, and it doesn't go to waste. Not with the blue squirrel we own. It's very good, Shads. Right, Sonic. Girl, you're gonna look so cute. 
Girl, I am so ready. You see his outfit? Garbage. No sauce at all. Exactly. I'm not wearing anything? Uh-huh. That's the problem. Okay, smart guy. Let's see you take a crack at it. Good morning, Mr. Shadow. What the? It's six. How did you find my house? Miss Rouge gave me your address. But that's not important. Teach me to fight. You want me to teach you how to fight? Yes, that's what I just said. I knew you would know some great fighting techniques. I am a tough teacher. That's okay. I will give it my all. Don't hold back whatsoever. By the way, Cream, do you watch any Magical Girl anime? Uh, why do you ask? Yeah, no reason. Anyway, on the topic of teaching how to fight, this is a 27mm rifle. Are you ready to take the examination today? Yes. Yes. Grandpa, could I get a pillow for Shadow to sit on? He's a little small for the table. Huh. I see. Go ahead. Small. I'm really starting to regret my life choices now that I'm sitting alone in the void here with no one to talk to. Oh, God. What can you do alone? Would you help me a bit? Who? Who is he talking to? Would I? What? Sonic reached out to save me before I fell to Earth from the Ark. If I hadn't waved him away, Sonic would have fallen with me. But his determination in trying... I'll never forget that. What the... G g guys? Hey, Knuckles, how's it going? Rouge complained that you were interfering with her flirting with Knuckles too often. I'm doing her a solid. What? Look, it's a Yankee candle. A Yankee candle? Smell it, Shadow. It's vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla scented. It looks delicious. No, don't eat it. And there you have some real food. No more candles. I'm not sure about this. Don't worry, Shadow. We're going to share the sandwiches. It's a lot better than wax. I don't see how it can be an improvement. That Yankee candle was delicious. Oh, Shadow. Starting to regret my life's research now. Now that we've set up a fire, I think me and Rue should find the Chaos Emeralds before someone else does. Omega, watch the fire. You got it. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, huh? Omega, we told you to watch the fire. I watched it. It was beautiful. To call, I can explain. You mean you get to appear in the next movie even though I came before you? He gets to appear next? But I'm an important classic character! You guys get to appear. <laughs> I am not weak! Damn, they got away! Damn, is that something cool to say? Don't worry, I'll go after him. Where is that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Coffee or tea? Coffee? Wrong, it's tea. And on Christmas, Santa Claus will only bring gifts to good kids. Maria, do you think Santa Claus will bring me a gift too? Of course, Shadow. You're a very kind and special boy. I'm sure Santa has a very special gift just for you. Whoa. Shadow, what do you think it's like on Earth? It's flat, Maria. Huh? It's flat. Shadow? Hello, Sonic. What? What, what is going on? Coffee. With metal? Yes. But, but why? Why not? Metal invited me and I was available. <laughs> this guy doesn't even drink coffee. Pathetic and inferior life form. What is with this weird tension? Do you want?
want anything from McDonald? Borgar. Kiss 100 boys. Hmm. Hmm. Kiss one boy 100 times. <laughs> Listen, would you guys be there for me? If I was going through something. Nope. Negative. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. She is right. Never. I hope it sucks. <laughs> Whatever you're going through. <laughs> so then I got to the Master Emerald and said, Hello, my precious. Hmm. I went to stroke it. You know, like you do. And then, what does this so asshole long, come and shiny. say to me? He says, Get off He's my perfect. Emerald, you bitch. So I'm like... As I Obviously, am. I'm not taking it. So what do I do? <coughs> Fucking perv. What, the, what just happened? Okay, so... I know you're almost done with the ultimate life form. But can you give it red highlights and explosion powers and vampire fangs and cool bug eyes and make it evil and cool? Hmm. Gotta say no to the bug eyes. But I can definitely give it explosion powers. What if they were... Evil explosion powers. I mean, okay. Would you like to accompany me in destroying private property? What the? Mission status. I have been friend zoned. Was my exterior not polished to her liking? Oh no, hon, you look great. Sigh. Isn't Gerald so dreamy? <coughs> what? Hey, Shadow? Remember this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at your little piercings! Leave me alone! I always wonder why Team Dark have stayed a team. Do they even like each other? They've got nothing in common. Well, that's not true. Huh? Rouge and Shadow are definitely alike. They've got the same smile. Huh? I reckon they put on a face for show. There's no way you'd really know otherwise. But sometimes you see them slip up in the middle of a fight. When it's getting tough and they're gaining an upper hand. I've seen both of them smile suddenly. A wicked grin. Because they know they're winning. I wonder if they even realize they're doing it. It's kind of spooky, huh? Definitely creepy. You're saying they put on an act? Why would they even do that? And for this long? Hey, beats me. Maybe they don't. I guess it's silly. But I swear Omega somehow looks excited when we fight. You know, he doesn't even have a face, but I just kind of feel it. I get the vibe. Maybe they are similar in some ways, then. I wonder if they're so close because they've seen each other's true emotions. I wonder what Team Dark are really like, then. Maybe they even have their own picnics. Heh. <laughs> Maybe they do. So, uh, I have a question. Yeah? So if Shadow is made from my blood, alien blood... Yeah? And designed by you, a human... Yeah? Why is it a hedgehog? Uh, oh, um, uh, I really don't want to tell him that I saw a prophetic vision depicting a hedgehog defeating some sort of otherworldly evil in an ancient temple. He might freak out. We're destroying Eggman's robots today. Get dressed and eat a proper breakfast. Oh, leave us alone. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing that today. You both are horrible roommates. Hey, Rouge, I'm at Aldi. You need anything? Rouge, I already fucking told you they don't sell clothes at Aldi. Sonic is hacking your computer. Huh. Ugh, oh, not this again. This is what you wanted, isn't it, Maria? With Shadow having fallen down to Earth, I must locate him and find where he landed. Aha! Found him. He's with his own kind. And this way leads to the museum's research lab. My office is always open if you want to work on anything in here. Wow, thanks, Uncle Chuck. It's close to the public, but if anyone gives you grab, just send them my way. I'll tell them what's what. Robotnik? 
Oh, let's give Shadow a heads up that you're here. They can let you in if I'm not around. What? 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 what, what, what? Come on in. Miss Rouge, on your best behavior, I hope. I'm just here on an honest coffee, Ronhan. Besides, you of all people know they don't have any gems here for me to steal. <laughs> well, that's true. Hmm, looks like you've got a little stowaway of your own today. The door said bioastronautics. Is that what you're researching here? Mm-hmm. Is, um, is it interesting? That's subjective. Right, yeah. <laughs> Ahem. Well, uh, as head of the department, I'll escort you out. Drap. It seems I've no other choice. Uh, Shadow, be good and keep Tails busy, would you? Yeah, tell him about your boring space house plants. Huh? My main research here is astrobotany based. I'm genetically modifying plants to suit growth in various deep space conditions. What? That's not boring? That's so cool! Really? Well, yeah, and I know they're growing stuff on the ISS, but they haven't grown much at all yet, right? Huh. I'd like your opinion on some of this. Oh, okay, sure, I'll do my best to help. It's getting late. We best be on our way, Tails. We gotta make dinner before band practice is over. Oh, oh, oh all right. Bye, Shadow. Thanks for the day. I'll see you next time. Hey, Shadow. What is it, Rouge? Ara Ara. <clears throat> oh, why do you feel like you have to do that? Because it's fun to see your reaction. <laughs> Go pick on that red echidna of yours. Oh, I did it to him already. He fainted dead away before I could finish, though. That would explain the giant green emerald in the garage. Yup. That woman, thinking she can just go up to me and do that. That thing she just did. I'll show her. She will rue the day she challenged the ultimate life form. Hey, Rouge. Ara, Ara. Oh, Game, set, match. Once again, I win. Time to destroy all the robots. I am a robot, too. Right. I mean Eggman's robots. I am an Eggman's robot. Well, uh, evil. Evil ones. I am very evil. Uh... Shadow, are you homophobic? I'm gay. He is avoiding the question! Mm-hmm, I, I noticed. I'm dying. You're not dying, you're just sick. Is this what everyone feels like all the time? Yeah, all the time, every minute of the day. Get me out of here. Good morning, class. Good morning. <laughs> Why are there rhinestones on this table? Oh my god. This is my dream. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> oh no, that was a big one. Stop. You can't laugh. <laughs> It's gonna suck taking that off. It sure is, baby. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself. Okay, your turn. No way! Sometimes I miss the old days when I see a photo like this. They were good, no, they were good, I liked it. The missiles really pulled it all together. You can see my ass in this photo! What? I think the coast is clear. I've got one more left before the detonator is ready. So then I'll, uh... Uh... Go. Yeah. Left. That... that should work, yeah. Rouge! It is unsafe for you to lift objects exceeding 26 pounds! Allow me to assist you. Are you serious right now? Hush! Hey, how would you like your coffee, honey? As dark and bitter as my soul! All right, one glass of milk coming up. <laughs> oh, come on, it'll be fun. I'm doing this because I love you. 
Exactly. Now you gotta lead out, right? Go Don't right. step on my feet. Ah! That's okay, can't be. That's right, you got it. See, I told you this would be Ugh. so fun. That's really gonna improve our selfie game. Rouge, I found this in my camera roll. Who the hell took this photo? Oh, I, I we don't know. No idea, not a clue. Who knows? Huh. You got it, Chaos Emerald. Gimme! No! Hands off! <laughs> so, Shadow, how is Maria doing? <laughs> 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 Mine. Thank you. You absolute bitch. Oh my god, Shadow, you're bleeding out! Quick, what's your type? Um, bat, blue eyes, white fur. Of blood, you idiot! Oh, it's red. <laughs> kind of oh surprised my by god. that, actually. Oh my uh. god. Look at this, check it out. Selfie game. Boom. <laughs> I love you so much! I love you too. Yay! I'm gonna do a crime. No! Yes! I'm gonna do a crime. Yeah! Alright. I got my eyes on him. Copy. Heading inwards. And Shadow, try not to risk your life again. Ah, uh, No promises. If I have to carry you out again, I swear... It was one time. Hi, how is therapy? <sighs> hey, it's gonna be okay. I know it costs a lot, but I think it's gonna be worth it's it. It's so expensive. I, I know, but you know what? We've been earning a lot for a long time. I Half think... of the session is her just explaining how it's a long process. I, I think that's just like to ease you into it. I'm not gonna give up now. Treat, Treat yourself, 2021! Treat yourself! Treat yourself! This is insane. Check it out! Listen, I know you never buy any jewelry, but I'm just making a suggestion here. If you wanna, and I'm not saying you do, but if you do wanna get me something, get this one right here, okay? No. I'm not getting that. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Size 8, please. Of course, sir. Oh, Miss Piggy. We're really in it now. Just as the grains of sand are too numerous to count, such were the amount of short circuits I experienced. Why? I made a marshmallow shadow. His arms are crossed because he's angry at all the other freedom fighters for annoying him. Do you like it? It's fine. Hey, Omega, have you seen Shadow around? Target Shadow, last sighted 36 hours ago. You can call off the search, Omega. Target has been located, but stay online, because I'd like to introduce the fourth member of our team. Are they coming by later? I don't see anyone else. What? Oh no, he's right here, come on. Don't be shy. Oh, oh no, you cannot be serious. You know I'm always serious. He's like four. Yeah. And already he's shown so much potential. He'll be fine, Rouge. I've been instructing him in all the basics of tactical espionage. Things like basic firearm training, infiltration, and bomb disposal. Bomb disposal? For this exercise, I may have substituted the bomb with Clado. Omega, you've got an advanced cyber brain, right? Tell him how he's wrong with your logic circuits. Now, Rouge. In the pursuit of fairness, Shadow may be right. The only way to know is with a test. Little one, I would like to run a verbal simulation with you. You are on a battlefield. A squad of allied robots have gone ahead, but you find they have been decimated by heavy artillery fire. You find a survivor. Its visual sensors have been damaged and can no longer identify enemy from ally. Option one, do you leave the survivor behind and carry on the mission, knowing that it could harm civilians and allies? Option two, do you attempt to disarm the survivor, 
risking your life as it may attempt to self-destruct in order to prevent capture. Come, Shadow, it is time. What is good at you, Shadow? Or option three. You will eliminate the survivor from afar. You may answer now. Answer has been recorded and cataloged. I have completed the test and come to the following conclusion. This is a four-year-old child. We absolutely cannot take him with us onto a battlefield. Then what was the point of the test? <laughs> Did you just say something? No. It said teaspoon, not tablespoon. I know how to read, Rouge. Uh. <coughs> what the hell did you do to us? Everything is free if you take it without paying. Life hack. <laughs> he has natural eyeliner and I am so mad about it. <laughs> Where are the sparkles coming from? Well, if everything is reversed in this apparently different dimension that we're in, then north would actually mean south, so we can't go the actual direction on the map. Well, what sense does that make? Wouldn't that mean east and west are the other ways as well? Doesn't Possibly. that just make it, doesn't that just make it like upside down? No, no, no. However, this is this is the problem whenever we do anything like this. You just ruin everything because you don't pay attention. No! Pay attention! That is completely unfair! We've been playing for... So How long have we been playing this game for? It's felt like my entire life! Excuse me for running out of an attention span oh, like oh. ten days in! I can't believe you're like this sometimes. It has been three hours. Good morning. Morning. I'm making mac and cheese if you want some. Yeah, sure. Is he putting the cheese in the boiling water? Why are you looking at me like... What? Why are you making it like that? Like what? Why did you put the cheese in the water? I always do that. Shadow, you're supposed to add the cheese after the noodles are cooked. Why would I do that when I can just add it now? Because the directions are to make the cheese sauce after the pasta. I'm not letting a piece of cardboard tell me what to do. But you're doing it wrong! How? Mac and cheese is just pasta, water, and cheese. Simple. You have so much water that you're just making soup! It's not watery after I strain it! What happens to the cheese when you strain it, Shadow, huh? The pasta absorbs it before I strain it! No kind of pasta can absorb cheese that fast! The macaroni kind does! That's what the holes are for! What are you two yelling about? Omega, tell Shadow he's making mac and cheese wrong! Omega, tell Rouge I can make mac and cheese however I want! Can I have some? I'm moving out. Shadow, can I wake up? What? Would you still love me if I was a worm? What kind of worm? I don't know, maybe like an earthworm? Like a regular worm? Those are the regular ones, right? The pink ones? Would you still be sentient, or would you literally just be a worm? Uh, if you were a worm with none of your previous okay, consciousness no, okay. and intelligence, then you would essentially be dead, so no. What are you saying? If you turned into a worm with the intelligence of a worm, you, as I know you, would be dead. So no. No, because I'd be the worm! But the worm hardly has a brain. I don't think worms even have brains at you all. You know what? You hardly have a brain. I'm going back to sleep, alone, and you're going to sleep on the couch. Get out, go. Well, as long as there are no worms there. You know what? Hey, how would you like your coffee, honey? As dark and bitter as my soul. All right, one glass of milk coming up. <laughs> huh. That was close. Uh. Thanks for the save, hon. Don't mention it. Shadow, come on, handsome. I need to get up. No, stay with me. Ultimate cuddler. Aw, oh, come on. You were a handsome zombot. Mm. But you need a bath, mister. Aw. Oh. What do you mean the reinforcements aren't coming? They don't pay us enough to do this job. Beautiful. H huh? The sun. The view. It's beautiful. Hmm. Rouge, there you are. I've been looking for you. 
Shadow, what's wrong? I'm here to ask you something. You've been more distant than usual. <laughs> can a girl rest after a long mission? Shadow picking up on my feelings, I really need to cool it. Anyways, I love looking at the moon. It shines like a jewel. Plus, I love the nightlife. Oh, really? Yeah, take a look at its beauty. I don't know. The only beauty I seem to notice is you, Rouge. That stunt you pulled was reckless. You could have been killed. <laughs> reckless, huh? You're one to talk. Don't start. Let's get you to a medic. Shadow, slow down! Rouge, I'm standing still. <laughs> Look, now you're getting it. <laughs> yeah? Oh yeah. They see me rolling. They hate him. Patrolling. They try to catch me riding dirty. Uh-huh. There he is. Hey there, my partner in crime. <laughs> Hello, Rouge. What is it? You're up to something. No, no, no. You just forgot something important. And what's that? Our most scandalous of crimes. Our child! Ta-da! What? Rouge. Don't kid around like that. Put that chow down. <laughs> huh? So, how about some actual kids, handsome? Rouge, I swear! <laughs> Shadow, come to bed. I'll be there in a minute. No, now I'm lonely. Stop playing with my ears, please. <sighs> Rouge. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. That's not my problem. I'm making it your problem. Okay. Why can't you sleep? Seriously, are you actually this oblivious? Actually, I think I'm rather perceptive. Now, talk. I just want to be close to you right now. I'm not lying. Come on, handsome. Say something already. I need sleep. Just let me sleep. Shame to waste such a lovely evening just sleeping. Rouge, I swear. Yes, yes, yes. The ultimate baby needs a nap. But do you think you'd be up for a go in, I'll say, half an hour? Come on, you never dance at these banquets. I'd rather fall to the planet again. See, it's not so bad. Shut up. All right, I got my eyes on him. Copy. Heading inwards. And Shadow, try not to risk your life again. Ah, uh, no promises. If I have to carry you out again, I swear... It was one time. Rouge, are you trying to seduce me? That depends. Is it working? Maybe. Do you see it? It's just lines. Yeah. How is that a crab? Bye, Mom! I'm gonna see Uncle Knuckles. I'll be home before evening. All right, hon. Oh... Chris, sweetie, while you're there... No, I am not stealing the Master Emerald. Later. So, you really don't remember anything? No. Hmm. Persuade him to blast away the ancient robots guarding that treasure that are trying to kill me while promising to help him find his past. Then I finally get to the treasure and take what I want... Then I ditch him. Perfect. Well, I'll help you figure out your past. Really? Sure. I am a world-famous treasure hunter, after all. But I've never heard of... <laughs> That's besides the point. Hey, we seem to make a pretty good team. I'm still gonna ditch him, though. Huh. This is so we don't get lost. What the... Uh, what is that? Shadow! <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. Right, Shadow? Shadow? And just who exactly might you be? Uh. So I'm thinking if we just head north, 
the treasure will be right to the left of us. Rouge, I hate the jungle. I've decided that now. Why? Just keep walking. I don't it like sucks. It. It's worth it for the treasure. Something's not right. Good job, guys. Now that we have all the crystals, we can... Toodles! Motherfu- I know you're deflecting by making jokes about how hot you are. It's not a joke. I'm a legit snack. Hey, just showing the science experiment in my granddad's lab things he's probably never seen before. Here's a parking ticket. Huh. Parking ticket. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, for real? Good morning, Shadow. Ready to go, my boy? Huh. Ah, I see. You've got a case of the butterflies. Butterflies. My apologies, I mean to say you're nervous. It's natural, but don't worry. They're both good children, and they'll love you as much as I do. Why, my granddaughter can't stop talking about how excited she is to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Here we are. Hello, children. I've got someone you'd like to meet. Hello there. Uh, hi. Wow, he's so cool looking. I love his shoes. Black and red go so well on you. I, I thought he'd be taller, though. How many spikes do you think he's got? My favorite color is blue. What's yours? Oh, I can't wait to show you all the books I've got. Does he know how to eat, read, throw a ball? Is he always going to be this short? Don't forget to introduce yourselves. Oh, right. I'm Abraham. Huh. Or not. Sheesh. He doesn't even know how to shake hands. Of course he doesn't know how to shake hands. He's still a newborn. <laughs> Don't pay him any attention. Here, give me your hand. There you go. I'm Maria. Maria Robotnik. Now it's your turn. Huh. Huh. I'm Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh-huh. Tommy Hurt. Gingy Ale? Blow up the world! Earth aside, what planet would you like to visit? It's going to be complicated, since there are no livable planets in the solar system. I, I know, but you gotta think. Jupiter is interesting, but I find that one too big. Even if you can easily run around all of it with your speed shadow, I think I'd prefer to visit Saturn. Those rings are just so beautiful. Oh! And did you know that there were frequent diamond showers on Neptune? It sounds dangerous. <laughs> You're not fun. Huh. <sighs> well, if I could visit a planet, and it wouldn't be lethal, I'd go to... Mercury. Mercury? Yes, a planet dotted with craters, scars resulting from the incessant meteor showers it suffered. Not to mention a breathtaking view of incessant solar flares whose incandescent sheaves progressively annihilate the surface of this desolate planet. Wow. <laughs> and you're the one talking about danger. Well, all other planets are equally dangerous. It's true. But despite all that, the Earth is still the planet I'd like to visit most. Hmm. Same for me, I think. Ah! Damn it! Ah! Oh, freak! Table! Oh! Mm. Mm. Oh, damn it! Hm. Oh, damn it. He ate all the jam. I saw him. <gasps> Hello, Shadow. Who are you? Do not be afraid. I am your maker. I created you to do extraordinary things. You've so much potential. I do? Uh, yes. What the? What is this? I don't want this. Then let me show you what happens when you defy me. What? No. 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 Oh, what a strange dream. Uh. You surprised me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, just helping Grandfather. By eating his food. 
Um, he, he wanted to watch his figure. And what are you doing here? I had a bad dream. Oh, no. Well, come on. Let's have a little sleepover and we can talk about it. <laughs> that sounds horrible. It was. But it was only a dream. You've got a good heart. And I know you're going to do wonderful things. You think so? Mm-hmm. Huh. <sighs> uh. Hey, Shadow! Hey! Want to try something really cool? <gasps> I know, right? Wow. Grandpa, catch! Oh, 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 oh. Shadow, look! Grandpa gave me this cap. I asked for it, and it's from Earth. Let's play Pokemon. Anything but this, Maria. It's embarrassing. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, uh, all right, just for a bit. <laughs> Yay! Shadow, I choose you. Sha sha. Shadow, Chaos Attack. Sha. This is your badness level. It's unusually high for someone your size. We have to fix that. Uh, Maria, meet your new brother, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. Huh. Huh. Oh, he's so cute! I love him! Huh? What is happening? I wonder if I should touch this highly explosive chemical. Maria, no! Oh, 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 oh. Promise me you won't touch the chemicals. Shadow, I was joking. Promise. Maria, I need to tell you something. It's okay, Shadow, I know you're gay. Uh, what? Are you sure you won't help? Yes. Are you sure, 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 are you sure? Fine! Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Huh. Hey, do you want to watch cartoons? Yeah. The one aspect of Earth that you were never too excited about was the night sky. I told you about it one day. I asked why we had skipped over the stars section of the books we had read. You chuckled, but thinking of it now makes me believe you were bitter. Shadow, I have been on this colony for all of my life. I've seen all the stars I could ever want to see, and the moon in all of its close-up glory. I couldn't care less about those same sights on Earth. And I understood that, yet... I can't help but feel a little bit smarter than you. For once, you said it was the same. It's not the same. The stars may look like specks from up in space as well, but on Earth, they create their own pictures. This is the Big Dipper. It's a constellation. It looks like a pot. Those three stars are the handle, and the four make up the pot itself. There are constellations everywhere on Earth. It can be hard to see the patterns if you haven't attempted to connect the dots. They can be whatever you want, but the stars are just one aspect. The moon is quite different when viewed from here, too. It's farther away. There are less details that we can see. But it shines so brightly. We never saw the moon glow as bright as this. The Earth has given both the stars and the moon a home to express themselves. Different from what you expected in space, huh? There's animals in the night as well. They greet the moon and stars all so familiar to them during these dark hours. The crickets, the owls, all of them. It's truly wonderful. But these sounds are nothing compared to the night's rhythm itself. It's something that needs to be heard on its own. When I spent my first night on Earth, and truly, truly began to appreciate the night, I heard it. The low hum of the night that echoed throughout. It was... It was incredible. Never have I felt more comforted by the sound of... Well... Nothingness. And I hear it now. 
It's nothing like what we heard together. We heard the beeping of machines next to you. The steps of people against the corridors. The quietness in the void. The space itself. But we never heard the night. And I wish you were able to hear it. Every time I'm out here, every time I appreciate the night, I can't help but think of what I'd tell you if you were to see it with me. I can't help but feel angry at the fact you'll never get to appreciate the night with me. I can't help but wish you were by my side. That you would be here, and I'd show you how it's better. It's so much better than what you expected. It's everything, and more. I wish that you could have seen Earth with me, but I know you'll never be able to, and I've accepted it. It's okay now, because I've kept all our promises, all the way up to our last one. And I can say nothing but thank you, Maria. Thank you for showing me a world of happiness that I wouldn't ever have known before.